Well, in a bid to use biotechnology to foster socio-economic development, Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari recently signed into law the National Biotechnology Development Agency Act 2022. Well, the agency is to serve as a platform for techno-scientific innovations in the field of biotechnology. The NABDA Act gives the agency legal authority to conduct research in food security, health, and development of vaccines and drugs. While well, the Director General of the agency, Abdullahi Mustafa, says it is a clear demonstration of government's commitment to transforming Nigeria from a consuming import dependent nation to a producing export oriented economy. And to give us more insight into this, we have the Director General of the National Biotechnology Development Agency, Abdullahi uh, Mustafa, with us in the studio. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on the Arise interview. Let me start by asking you exactly how, you know, does or will this bio, uh, biotech, you know, socioeconomic development in Nigeria, how will this, the signing of the, you know, biotech development uh, technology act how will it change things how much of a game changer will it be thank you very much uh, Ngozi and uh, I'm happy that you have me here in the studio and uh, National Biotechnology Development Agency is an agency as you said saddled with the responsibility of carrying out biotechnology researches in the area of develop, developing the uh, economy of the nation. Uh, let me first of all tell you that uh, biotechnology is a kind of research that is not uh, really a conventional research. It's yeah. a research that is normally um, fast-tracking whatever it does is different from the conventional. When, for example, you are to carry a research for 20, 30 years, this biotechnology activity can give you a result in two, three, four years, depending on how lucky you are. And that is the advantage. So you can see if I say uh, is something that contribute to the development of the nation is clearly, glaringly clear. Because any nation without scientific development is a nation that is dependent on another country to produce all those development and then for the country to depend on that mm. and uh, it's not uh, really a, a, a strong nation and uh, any nation that you have had that uh, it is been called a developed nation is true scientific finding and development so this uh, recently uh, his excellency president muhammad buhari has signed the uh, bill into law uh, establishing the uh, National Biotechnology Development Agency into research ch uh, charter status. And by that, it means that uh, it has come to stay in the area of research and development for the nation. And the commitment is that we'll get more funding now, we'll have the power now to collaborate with any agency within and outside the country to bring that development. We have areas of interest that the country has uh, uh, focused on, and then that is the reason why the National Biotechnology Development Agency was formed in the area of agriculture, in the area of environment, in the area of uh, industry, in the area of uh, medical. All those areas are very, very vital in the development of the uh, country. And uh, that is uh, giving us uh, a leverage to conduct researches in all these areas. Although okay. we have uh, begun conducting... Yeah. Let me just, you know, uh, throw this in because I'm really curious. I mean, when you talk biotech, you want to imagine that all the infrastructure that you need that will, you know, give you the, the, the kind of environment that you need to thrive will be in place. Is Nigeria really ready, uh, you know, for biotechnology? With the, you know, challenges with electricity or power, if you like, and, and all of that. And even the educational, uh, you know, system, you, you would need a pool where you can, you know, derive the personnel, the, the skills, the skill set and all of that. Do we have that 
really? In well, uh, to be honest with you, you see, in, the, in any developed uh, nation, you may find that even within them, uh, there are some certain areas that they are liking, so they are sharing between countries. And in Nigeria is not an exception. We have the fundamental, uh, some of the fundamental research equipments, and we have our laboratories, which we've been developing over the years. Uh, recently, I I'm glad to uh, inform you that uh, this government have done, on, have done a lot in the area of uh, uh, biotechnology because uh, it was in 2016 that we have started uh, receiving research grant okay. and in that research grant we begin to purchase equipment that are essential for the conduct uh, for the conduct of research in the area of biotechnology having said that we are collaborating with other institutions in the country uh, most especially universities you know in many universities there are departments solely for biotechnology mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that uh, we are the one that are going to do 100 percent we collaborate we mix with other people that have the expertise in the areas that are of interest in the, uh, for mm -hmm. the country so that is what we do and i'm telling you that we have the capacity to conduct research we have human resource uh, mm -hmm. also capacity uh, having uh, told you that we have universities that have professors also in the area of bi biotechnology, we have researchers in the uh, biotechnology agency that are very experienced mm -hmm. and that have worked hard in developing so many of uh, the biotechnology research products right. and which has been conveyed and now is being utilized in the country. Okay, great. In which areas specifically, you know, have you been carrying out research so far? You said you, you've been around since 2015, 2016, if I heard you correctly. Into which areas specifically? Is it agriculture and what have been the outcomes of some of the research that you've carried out? Well, uh, we, we, the agency was formed in 2001 and then okay. what I explain is that mm. uh, the research uh, money that has been flowing into the agency started in 2015. Uh, 16. Okay. And uh, in the area of agriculture, we have uh, collaboration, as I've told you, with many mm -hmm. institutions within and outside the country. And what we produce now, it is being given to the people, most especially the cotton. You know, cotton is something that uh, has already gone out of, uh, like, uh, in, into extinction in the country. Nigeria nobody. used to be a grower. Yes, and, 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 mm -hmm. and there was a time that nobody even cares about uh, producing cotton, right. because when you produce it, it is of no profit and the farmers mm. run away and yet since the farmers run away then the industries collapse and then we lack everything but now we have collaborated with some agencies we brought back the cotton and the cottons is the cutting is there mm. and then it's being produced in the country and farmers are very happy we're working with uh, many agencies and we are working with uh, cotton farmers association and that is one big development that we have brought in mm. the country quality fiber no insect that attack the cotton and then uh, yield is high and then even drought resistance and so many advantages that we have inculcated into the uh, mm. seed of the uh, uh, cotton that has been produced now and mm. then we are boosting into that and then we are, we are still talking to them whatever problem they have we are working to see how we solve that and with that we have generated quite tons of a uh, number of uh, employment and then mm. some of the generic industries that have revived back have taken a lot of uh, uh, staff and by that we have reduced uh, quite a lot of unemployment and right. in the area I've just mentioned one. We have mm -hmm. uh, we have conducted so many researches, and which is deployed to the Nigerians. We have developed uh, a beans that is cowpea that is devoid of uh, insect attack, and okay. this is improved variety. And when you compare it, it's about seven to five, five to seven fold in the quality, in the quantity of the uh, produce when you plant it. In, uh, co in, in, in relation to the mm. conventional uh, beans that is uh, being produced in the country. That's great to know. I'm excited about the beans aspect because I do know that the European uh, you know, uh, Union refuse beans. Um, a lot of staple coming from Nigeria because of uh, some of the uh, you know, issues that you just raised there. In insects in our beans, you know, as far as the European Union is concerned, for example, a, a lot of our beans, you know, fruits, cashew and what have you, they're not, they don't meet the European standards. So I hope with the intervention of, you know, your agency, uh, that will change, uh, you know, going forward. But let's talk about this. You, you have this categorization of technology, green, biotech, red, uh, blue, white, 
tech. What exactly is this about? And what are the specific areas of priority for you as an agency? And it's, it's, it's the same thing. I just uh, try to translate it in the normal way that okay. people we'll will understand. understand. So right. the agriculture, the mm -hmm. um, medicine, the environment, the um, uh, the industry. That is what is meant by that green, blue, and uh, fantastic uh, white by technology. Uh, but uh, in the area of research, as I've told you, we have mm -hmm. gone far in many of those aspects. We have produced it, and it is there, and it is. Uh, uh, available for people to come and see and some have uh, uh, just uh, been deployed to people and people right. are using it like the beans and the cotton that I've said. Mm -hmm. We have soybean that is on the pipeline that uh, you know we are taking crops one after the other right. that are very important, vital in the country that people are supposed to use generally general people like uh, it will move the economy forward mm -hmm. and I'm telling you that now since uh, we have had that uh, a lot of problems are uh, in the uh, area of uh flour, bakery. Mm -hmm. Then w I just before I come into the studio, I asked my research team to go into uh, the uh, research to bring up something that we can work on wheat and cassava right. so that we produce a lot of uh, uh, flour that mm -hmm. is going to be used for bakery in the country. We shouldn't depend, as a country, we should never depend on any other nation to feed us. We have 200 million people. We have a very quality land we are now Absolutely. a developed scientist that we can now solve our problem by ourselves the, the that is what we have done and that is uh, what I'm telling you that uh, I'm hoping that mm. these people uh, the bakery association will come and we sit down so that we know their problems and then we take it upon ourselves to solve that problem fantastic that that you know sounds like music in the ears of uh, the bakers who are on strike right now i'm sure them listening to you they'll be very very excited and i'm equally uh, excited now that's in the area of agriculture nigeria just like the rest of the world is just recovering from the you know uh, negative fallout of covid 19 and when covid struck it actually exposed uh, the underbelly of nigeria's health sector how you know, it's just not where it's supposed to be. Vaccine-wise, for example, we've had to re rely on, you know, the global community, uh, you know, COVAX and what have you for vaccines. What kind of intervention? How are you coming in in the area of medicines and vaccines specifically? I thank you very much. I think uh, that is also our area of strength. Uh, when I come into office, I put my priority on vaccine development. Remember, uh, this uh, COVID has taught us a lot of lessons, mm -hmm. a lot of lessons that we have to be self-reliant in terms of food and medicine. And this is what we have done. We have, uh, uh, have, a, res we have a research team that we have done. Uh, first portion, we have categorized the such uh, aspect into some segment and then we have uh, concluded the first and second segment mm -hmm. and in the third segment now we have advertised for some people that are very experienced and they are expert in some areas of researches and then these people we have invited them to come and join us and they have come we are right. just uh, we have just con concluded that part and then we have moved to the uh, area that uh, the research is going on although this is a uh, 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 medical aspect mm -hmm. it will take uh, some time but okay. what we want to find what we want to bring to the table of Nigerians is that we are going to bring the platform of development of vaccine where our research scientists are the ones that have the experience in all those sections and segments for the production of vaccine. Mm -hmm. So that whatever vaccine we want to produce, we'll produce it with that technology. That is a messenger right. RNA technology. And that uh -huh. is what we have gone into and then we have gone far. And uh, for sure, I will be the one that uh, will come and tell you that uh, this is the uh, level that we have gone since now we have got the complete team that have swung into action uh, recently Great. And, uh, in the area of uh, Lassa fever we have done uh -huh. quite a lot uh, you know Lassa fever is a fe peculiar disease to uh, Nigeria, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. and uh, nobody will come and do this uh, uh, solve this problem for you but uh, what we have done in the area of bioinformatics we have selected some drugs and then we have uh, uh, subjected them into scrutiny then right. we repurpose the drug and then we provided the drug that is uh, competent to 
uh, three selected drugs that are competent in the uh, attacking this uh, Lhasa fever. And we have, uh, we have collaboration with some uh, agencies in the country and even the Ministry of uh, Health. So now the uh, drugs are there in the Ministry of Health for okay. uh, clinical trial. So you see we are doing quite a lot. And the, in the area of uh, insulin, we are working with uh, International Center for Genetic and Bi uh, Bi Biotechnology uh, okay. in uh, Trieste in Italy. And uh, recently I visited the place. And uh, we have a very uh, robust uh, discussion that uh, we are going to deploy that technology that uh, insulin should be produced Fantastic. in the country. We are taking so many things one after another Great. since we have started uh, 2016, but this is what uh, we have deployed to the country mm. and this is what we have provided. Is there a timeline? I, I know uh, NAPDA only came on stream in 2021, according to you know uh, the information you gave us here. But is there a timeline, you know, for self-reliance in all of these areas of research that you're doing, and even more importantly, the commercialization of the outcomes of some of these you know research findings? How much of a you know priority is that? You know, to make sure that this uh, you know research outcomes are available even in commercial quantity? Uh, to be honest with you, we, are, we, are, we have commercialized some of the uh, things that we have uh, identified. We have commercialized uh, the beans, we have commercialized the cotton, and then we are about to commercialize uh, maize, and then uh, this is on and on. Is we are taking things one after another right. to see that we have profile solution and we deploy it. It's not something that can be seen physically, mm -hmm. but research when it is deployed, the impact could be felt in the uh, in the section of the economy and people who see there is abundance of those uh, items. So uh, there is no timeline for research to say that you are going to start from uh, today and you finish tomorrow. No, mm. it could be possible that you can start to and, and finish tomorrow and it could be possible it could take you days, Yeah, I mean, months, I'm even talking years. about targets. Do you have set targets to say, look, we want to carry out research on, you know, maybe uh, sickle cell anemia, for example. And in two years, we want to be able to say, look, this is how far we've come and we're getting closer. I, I mean, I was reading a report the other day that HIV cure may, maybe is, you know, uh, closer than ever. So that, that means in another five years, HIV could even be history. That's, that's a point I'm trying to make. Oh, definitely. You see, right. uh, in the area of vaccine, I'm telling you that uh, in the next three to four years, mm. we'll develop a vaccine and then not only vaccine, not for COVID, no, vaccine for malaria, vaccine, right. those uh, ah. vaccines that have been taken by our children when they were born mm. from first year to... Uh, from first day For to under five. Well, yes, yes, yes. Zero to so five we, are, we are determined to mm. develop these vaccines so that we can produce them. We have the technology. Of course, right. some companies have some franchise, but it's not our technology. Mm. Tomorrow they will say that they have changed it, so you have to go back to that, and then the whole money go back to them. And then there are some other things that are needed to be considered because uh, we are Africans, we are Nigerians, we have some peculiarities. So that is mm. what I'm assuring you that uh, within three to four years, we are going to do something. We are going to bring something on the table in the area of vaccine. And then in the area of drugs, uh, uh, we are working in that area. And then quite a lot of number of uh, things that we have uh, developed and uh, we have proposed as a research. Uh, right. It's not uh, to say that we are taking, we have so many researches going mm. on, but there are priorities. We take priorities, as I've told you. Like malaria, for example. I mean, yes. all the drug resistant malaria in this part of the world. Uh, Nigeria, you know, carries a huge burden when it comes to that. And I hope you, you at uh, NABDA are looking at this. But I'm wondering, in the last two minutes that we have now, artificial intelligence uh, is becoming the norm in the, you know, uh, in the global community, uh, in the advanced world. And I'm wondering, is Nigeria not already, you know, being left behind as far as that's concerned? Are you, you know, catching up with artificial intelligence? Is that even, you know... Uh, in front of you in terms of where you want to carry out some intervention and ensure that it becomes the order of the day in Nigeria? Well, uh, it's ICT and the, there is an agency that is saddled with that responsibility. Right. But however, mm -hmm. we are using any 
any of our research, we are using advanced method to see that we have carried out with uh, this advanced technology. Right. So we are in, uh, involving almost everything in mm. biotechnology to see that we have achieved uh, results. So that area, yes, we are working on that. Great, and you're so optimistic and um, equally as optimistic as you are. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Abdullahi Mustafa, uh, DG NABDA, that's National Biotechnology Development Agency of Nigeria. Thanks for joining us. Uh, well, that's it for this edition of the Arise interview. Do join us again on Monday. From me, Ngozi, Alibu, and the rest of the team here in Abuja, goodbye and have a great weekend.